Hey folks, what is up? Muckleboy here, uh, welcoming you back to our channel. Um, and again, to uh, to all the longtime subscribers, thank you so much for uh, you know for following along with the story of our clan for as long as you have. I mean, we've been going on about this for probably close to about three years now. And again, if you guys are just finding us, um, you know, take take a chance or take the opportunity to hop into the channel and take a look at some of our playlists. Um, we put out a lot of content to new players who were focused on wars and things like that and um, you know just how to get through the game without losing your without losing your mind or losing your shirt but um, yeah we're we're here and uh, we're a couple of weeks past um, Supercell's fair play announcement you know which was probably one of the most uh, earth-shattering developments in the game to date uh, but I you know before I kinda get into some of the updates and uh, what we're gonna do uh, what we're gonna talk about during this episode um, I wanted to share uh, a kind of bittersweet some bittersweet news with you. Um, so one big development as far as the uh, the uh, progression of my base um, for the for the last time last night, I ran uh, what was essentially my last farming raid. I <laughs> I three starred a nemesis base uh, for just enough loot uh, for just enough elixir to finally put my uh, grand warden down for um, for his final nap. So he's uh, you know GW19 and uh, you know, I'm not even going to gem him up. I'm just going to sit here and kind of savor the next uh, seven days and, and kind of let him, um, you know, let him wake up on his own. Uh, you know, because at this point, my base is as upgraded as I want to take it. And, uh, you know, there's nothing left for me to farm. I mean, of course, yes, I could do walls and things like that. But again, for all intents and purposes, I have finished the game. <laughs> and um, it's weird. Uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's... Uh, you know, after after nearly three years of uh, you know kind of planning things around, you know when to go in and pop bubbles, or uh, you know planning things around upgrades, big upgrades, uh, you know big farm marathon farming sessions, it's uh, it's just weird to kind of come into the game and the only thing that you have to do is uh, you know just film, uh, uh, fill war requests and and uh, you know get your get your two attacks in. So some pretty crazy stuff there. And um, anyway, let's. Uh, Let's just take a quick look at that that replay. <clears throat> and again, you folks have known that uh, I've been a I've been a big fan of Valks ever since uh, you know I figured out how to use them and in what combinations to use them and what scenarios to use them. Um, you know, it's it's amazing to see that the base that started this whole madness with uh, trying to figure out how to tackle it was the base that I ended with. Uh, you know, to to uh, to complete that last level of, of the Grand Warden. And, uh, you know, it, it, this is a maxed out Town Hall 11. I don't have my Grand Warden for this. I do have, uh, you know, the only other difference here is that I do have Max Valks, which was, uh, you know, the one addition from, um, you know, earlier attempts at, the, at these strategies. But as far as the script is concerned, it's, you know, the same thing uh, that, that I do in, in every single one of these attacks. You get the uh, you get the AQ healer working on one side of the funnel. That's that side over here. Uh, you get the the kill team to go in down one other side of the funnel, and then once you have that inner core breached, with uh, with that eagle artillery, already kind of half damaged with those four uh, with those four earthquakes, everything will just naturally stream into the core. Now, the, you know, an, an interesting thing there, and I, I'll I'll show you this as we look at some more of these replays. Uh, this this doesn't always work, and I'm going to show you what to look for, uh, so that you can plan so that you can plan your breach points properly, and that you're hitting the the, the base from uh, you know the most um, most reliable breach point to ensure that everything makes it into the core and that you've got the infernos because again without the teslas without the infernos and definitely without the expos uh, you know these bases are, have a really hard time defending against uh, what's left and as you can see here even without the grand warden this was a town hall 11 uh, you know was able to go in clean this guy out for um, you know for what was left of his what was left of his loot and then put my grand warden down for the uh, for the last time so really really weird feeling kind of bittersweet but um, you know in the same vein I'm glad because now I can just sit back and relax and and enjoy the game <laughs> after all this time <laughs> anyway some uh, some quick channel updates um, again if if uh, if you haven't been following the news uh, you know supercell has uh, started their wave of bands they weren't bluffing if you have the software and you even if you installed it uninstalled it uh, you know it, it seems to be like uh, you know, there's some rumors going around that there are residual files left over that uh, that they can still detect. I mean, I still am of the um, 
the opinion that they've had this information since December. You know, they've had these lists. They've already generated these lists, so it doesn't even matter if you uh, uninstall it now. They, you know, they needed in that first wave to make uh, to make an example out of a lot of people, and cause a lot of pain and, and make people uh, make people pay attention to what was going on. So, um, you know, all of this uh, all of this smoke and mirrors with un, you know uh, um, uninstalling and and uh, you know running cleaners on on or, or even doing like complete factory resets um, you know again my my take on this is it doesn't matter you you your name's probably been on that list since December and uh, you know they're currently right now probably rescanning uh, you know rescanning behaviors rescanning um, devices even if they have that ability which I'm not sure that that, that they actually do and uh, you know they're building that second list for for the next uh, you know, wave of bands, and uh, you know it's very interesting to see what's going on in you know the XMod communities and the iMod communities with people, you know, en mass. We're talking about millions and millions of players uh, who who probably comprised most of the revenue stream of those applications because you know they run like any other iOS application, mobile application would, uh, on on advertisements and, and views. Uh, so you know, just as the residual uh, effect of millions of players using them, they've you know this one announcement's probably wiped out. Their revenue stream by you know a fair margin, uh, at least across those um, at least across those titles. So crazy stuff there. Anyway, I mean as far as Reddit Force is concerned, we're we're still here. Uh, there have been there's been one pretty big big change in the past uh, in the past month. Apollo's who is uh, you know one one of our I wouldn't say newer members. He's been around for quite some time, but uh, you know he's one of those members who just had a natural knack for leadership. He's actually rose to the position of leader, and uh, mo you know myself and two of the other former leaders of, of the clan are still in clan, helping him out do do what do whatever we can to continue uh, you know the mission of Reddit Force that we started so many years ago. And uh, you know we've been we're still here. We're still having a great time in the game. Uh, let me just pop up our war log so you can see how we've been doing, and. Um, the uh, the patch announcement, or rather, you know, the ban announcement came right around. I think this this war here. So what was this? Uh, doesn't say how many. You know, about a week ago, and um, you know, we're still averaging close to uh, 95 percent. Uh, you know, 95 percent hits, clearing all the nines. Um, you know, across the bases as we go. But we did have one rematch with Peter Seventeen Dollars, uh, Peter Seventeen Dollar Awesome. Uh, this is um, this is one of our most favorite wars from a really long time, and uh, this is part of the, uh, the the next batch of videos that I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, we're kind of go going to um, we're going to rewind a little bit, and we're going to revisit a lot of those old topics, and and just kind of get them updated for 2016 with uh, you know the current meta. Um, you know things like kill teams, funneling, uh, assessing bases, building bases. All all of these uh, all of these topics need to be revisited, and especially now that you know the, the vast majority of players are finally on a level, level playing field. This um, this type of content is going to be even more relevant today than it than it has been at any time in the history of uh, in the history of Clash of Clans. So looking forward to getting some of that content out to you guys and showing you exactly how we do what we do here and uh, and can can continue to do in what is finally um, you know a fair play environment with a, with a level playing field. So some great stuff coming your way. Um, and you know we'll be working on guides, Town Hall 10, uh, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10 upgrade guides. And uh, let me just give you a little peek here, Clan. This is my my little mini. Where are you, little guy? Little Mocha. So this was um, you know just just a little account I had uh, that that I've been working on. Uh, no gems. You know, just uh, just upgrading as I can. I, as you can see, I stopped upgrading the defenses, and I've been working primarily on uh, walls and, uh, and and elixir upgrades. So, been having a lot of fun with him in, in uh, you know some of the mini wars. But uh, we'll be looking forward to, to getting him up into the town hall nine, uh, you know, up into the town hall nine bracket, and uh, you know, getting getting some action going there. So, fun times ahead there. Now, I mean, as far as um, you know the the future of the channel and the future of the clan. Again, if you are looking for uh, if you are looking for a clan to to learn three star strategies and and work on your war game, and uh, you know that's something that you can be focused in. You know, definitely come give us a look. Um, you know, just look us up uh, look us up in game using search Reddit Force, and um, you know just come with an open mind and a good attitude, and and, and you'll fit in just fine here. 
Uh, but that's about it. Um, you know, again, I wanted to leave it open. If there's something specific that you guys are after, some specific pieces of content, uh, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, just drop it in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can do to uh, to, to to get those questions addressed. Um, you know, just to give give you kind of a peek here, this is what my recording studio here looks like. These are all clips that I've pre-recorded that I have to go back in and do voiceovers on, and then, and then get those released. So we've got a lot of fun stuff coming your way. You know, over over the next few weeks. Um, again, from you know, on behalf of myself and everyone at Reddit Force, we want to. Um, you know, wish everyone good luck in the new environment. And, you know, again, if you want to learn these strategies and, and you want to come play with some of the best players and some of the best people in the game, I feel, you know, come, come give us a look. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for tuning back in and uh, looking forward to your comments.